All right, guys, I got to catch you up on a few things I've been doing. First, you'll notice the cab back on the ground off the rounds pull, which is pretty sweet. Back window I took out of it because I got to get in there to do a little bit of work. Cab corners, rockers are welded in. Everything's ground down pretty close. Still got to do some body work on them. But the big thing is now I want to get this inside cleaned out. I got all kinds of junk and miscellaneous stuff in there. Get all that cleaned out. I'm going to try to make a jig that's going to go underneath this cab. Come up here on the back. That way hopefully I can rotate this cab and get to the underneath. Got a little bit of welding and grinding to do and see if I can get that bottom side undercoated. So let's get after it. Now, if only I would have took pictures of how all this stuff goes back in the cab, I'd be sitting pretty good, but did not, got excited. It was last year whenever I did it. Don't even remember what half that stuff is, but that's not important now. We got the cab all cleaned up. We're gonna start getting the jig ready and get it flipped over and start on the underneath. Just take one step at a time till we get this cab done. Well, we're about to give this thing a whirl. Hopefully she works out good. I had to build up the bottom, build a little place for it to sit on. That way I don't crush them cap corners whenever I go to flip this thing. And it's sitting up there on the front of the jig. I had to add a little two by six here to the back to go up and connect. So that should make it nice and solid. Got a nice ratchet strap there holding it. Hopefully I can get a cherry picker and just flip this thing over nice and slow onto the back. So let's give her a whirl. Well, I am super glad that that went good and that is over with. Had about 10 different scenarios of that going bad in my head, but cab is flipped over now. I can really get in here and do some work on it now. This was one of the main problem areas I had here. This whole support here is just rusted off. I got to cut it off, try to replace it. Other than that, I got one little rust hole here. Got to take care of it. I might do some more welding on the inner rocker there, or I might just seam seal it. I don't know yet exactly what I'm going to do. Same deal with the other side. It's about the same way. But all in all, really, a little bit of welding on it, and then just wire wheel this whole thing, get it undercoated, and hopefully I never have to see the bottom of it again. So let's keep moving.
All right, let me catch you guys up now. Wire wheel in the underneath of a cab sucks. Do not like it, but it looks pretty good. I didn't go all the way down to bare metal. This is just kind of melting and smearing around, but if it's stuck here for 35 years, it ought to do it for another. There's a few little areas I might have to get in there by hand and get. I can't quite get that big wire wheel in there. So I'm going to touch that up by hand, probably off camera. And then these little spots here on this rocker, I got some weird little gaps on both sides or this new rocker meets up where the old rocker was. I'm going to box that in. I think it'll be a little bit better and get that step done, then try to move on to something else. All right, guys, getting back into the swing of things. Here I got my body bushing covers strung out. I got them cleaned up and wiped down. They're getting ready for paint. I'm trying to think of the stuff I need to be doing to get this cab back on the frame. I got it pressure washed. Everything washed up pretty good, as you can see by the mess on the floor. I had it slid over here by the door, which is a little bit better. A lot of the water went out of the garage, but there's the underneath of it. I made my new structural piece here. It turned out pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. I'm gonna hit them welds a little bit with the grinder. And then also I gotta come through here and cut them down, even them up a little bit, just to make it look a little bit better. But everything else is pretty much done. I got one filler piece left right here to weld in. But I did spray some converter on it. I'm gonna see if that helps it. Letting it dry up now, I'll wipe it down. Get my welding done there and my grinding done and should be getting this thing in undercoat, so. Getting pretty excited and getting ready to get back on the truck, so I'm going to get after it. All right, guys, that's probably going to do it on another one. Appreciate you guys for watching. I think the bottom of that truck's turned out very nice, and everything keeps going pretty sweet. I think it's going to turn out a little bit better than what I was hoping for. So keep watching. We'll see what I get into next time.